Hey y'all, sorry back again with another video. And before I get into today's tea, I need y'all to go to Instagram and follow me at RET Talk. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me at RET Talk on Twitter because you know Instagram be playing a Mark Zuckerberg, whatever his last name is. I was trying to take some my account and I don't got time for that. So go follow me. After Arcola posted all that stuff on Twitter, she eventually went live and talked about the situation some more. And as people suspected, one of the girls that was there who attacked her definitely was Data Troll's goal. So she also said she was assaulted with a firearm, which is super insane. And she kept on going back and forth about who did it. I think we all could put two and two together and just realize that she really didn't want to say what actually happened. Hitting somebody with a firearm while he's trying to get your child is crazy. Insane. I cannot even imagine. You would have been in the jealous jail that they got because I would have called 911-919, the CSI 211 for, for more information on people I could call because I just wish somebody would. That's weird. I think it's very rude to comment under people's stuff and be like and be like why are you telling us tell the police first of all these are my accounts i could tell whoever i want look at my eye and i got my baby back feel how you want to feel about it but the fact of the matter is everything that he's put me through and everything that he's ever did to me it never affected I never let it affect him and Kale's relationship that's hella bitter I'm not bitter if I don't like you I don't like you but I've never been bitter when Kale turned six months that was the first time he ever went there I took him by himself. It was getting a little f***ed up when you start trying to tell me I could do weekends and stuff. Now you're f***ing with my head. I even told him, I said, I even let KL stay for your birthday. There'd be so many people voicing their opinions in my life about how I shouldn't do this or don't do that. or, And I don't listen. It's been plenty of times when I said KL's not going back to his dad's house and I sent them back. Because I can't do that. I can't just keep a kid away from his dad. But this... It's just scandalous. Makes you hurt my feelings with that one. Because you let them do that with my son in my hands. It's like, okay, if you don't give a fuck about me, that's cool. But damn, you don't give a fuck about KL. So the you fact that you thought that was okay to let that even happen. And mind you, I already had got KL. I'm out of the house. I'm in this car. I was in this car. I was sitting right here. I'm trying to, I'm running to the car after I, okay, look. When we was in the house he told them to block the door like they really not trying to give me my kid these hoes really try keep trying to take my son from me like why y'all first of all need to stay the f out of it two i'm trying to run to the car i'm unlocking the door i get in on this side i i'm thinking i'm hurry up and locking it the f pop this door open so i got this f at this door and this f at this door she keeps trying to grab ko i'm literally hugging my baby tight like you're not grabbing him like that's out you're not grabbing my son his problem is he tell something they gonna do it y'all know why he don't like me men can trail be like this this is what y'all really don't know when we cool we be like this he don't like me because he can't talk to me crazy he can't talk to me however he want and i'm gonna you get that same energy back when when it comes to me when he's in front of me bitch you get a mirror it's a mirror however you treat me is how i'm going to treat you but back to the story. I'm right there. This little ugly, not the stage, the other little ugly. I booted that in her face too. She start trying to take off on me while I got KO. Then they tried to throw out there that I'm holding KO so I don't have to fight. No. Because none of y'all hoes came with me one on one. And two, y'all all keep trying to grab my son. Y'all keep trying to grab him. That's why I'm holding him. Y'all keep trying to take him from me. And I'm not letting you take him. I did not fly all the way out here and get a rental car and drive a whole hour up in the mountains just to let y'all thought I was really finna let y'all get him. That's just crazy. I think it's pretty sick how y'all even felt like you would have to take a child from his mother. 
I don't harm my son. He gets clothed. He gets bathed. He gets fed. He makes his doctor's appointments. He gets TLC, tender love and care. He has a lot of love. I don't give a about this side no more. Everybody's done. Everybody. Anybody. I mean, I just feel like y'all scary because it took y'all hella long to even do that. He had to, he got to keep telling y'all to do it. He got to keep telling y'all. But the fact that y'all even listened to that nigga, I would have looked at him so crazy like, what? Fight your baby mama for what? She ain't even saying two words to you. She came strictly, she stood on everything she said. She came here, she got her baby, and she's trying to go. That's what I came for. When I went in his house, I did not get disrespectful. Multiple times. Where's KL? Just like this. Where's KL? Where's KL? I don't see KL nowhere. Jason said he's asleep. I'm walking around the house. I look. I look up the stairs. I see KL. Then this Dave's like, what's going on? Mind your business. Just in front of my kid. I don't even play those type of games. I don't let people fight in front of him. And I don't even like people to argue in front of my son. Like, anybody could vouch for that. I really do not play them type of games. So, my feelings was just hurt that you even would let somebody do that to your son's mom. Like, I have a whole black eye. I came out here. And when I was in the car driving, I think the GPS says 17 more minutes. I started praying. I said a prayer. I thank God for waking me up and I thanked him for giving me traveling mercies. And all I prayed and asked for was to let everything go smooth. I ain't even have time for none of that. We don't have to talk. I don't mind going through your wife. I don't give a about you. I didn't move on with my life. I do what the I got to do for my son. That's just that. I don't give a about you. But the fact that you could really let some do some shit like that in front of your son and sit back and watch and you know what he kept saying to me i disrespected him and i knew this really bothered him because two weeks ago he was like when he was like um he's gonna keep him two more weeks he had told me i i responded to him being dirty like he's he really what i said the he only been there two weeks keep him two more y'all that made him so mad i don't know why but that's what really got my eye like this. He he was he's he's hot about that. I don't understand what's so wrong about it. You sit in the house all day like I work. Y'all seen for yourself. He told me to pay for the flight. If I work and I told you I could come Thursday and you said I ain't trying to hear that shit, that is so disrespectful. But then it's like, damn. When he started playing like I'm not getting my son back. All right, we not playing them type of games. First, it was way two weeks. Then it was, you can't get him, but you could get him on weekends. I even tried to be fair because he kept trying to make it seem like, oh, if you take KL from me, I'm going to be so hurt. So I'm like, damn, like maybe him and KL really just got this like super fantastic bond. I'm like, how about we switch off month for month? Like I keep him one month and then you get him the next month. I keep, no, that's too long. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't and I don't even give a no more all I gotta say is you blew it God forgives I'm fucking dope hitting your son's mom in the face with a gun is crazy letting her get hit in the face with a gun is crazy letting her leave with a I left with so much blood bro it's blood on my son I was leaking you hit me with a and what did I <laughs> My feelings were so hurt. I was just like, damn. I, um, yeah, I'm about to get off here, though. I just feel like you guys should really pray for your favorite rapper. He's just like, you make it so hard for people to feel bad for you. Like, when I listen to your music, you be crying and on the beat. Like, you act like you're just hella depressed and, like, your life just isn't going good. But, I mean, I kind of understand. So make as many fake pages as you need to because this little boy will never be in the hands of you or anybody in your family. Kiss him goodbye. Please. Do. <laughs> the district mother I wish I could peel. I'm getting a snake straight over this. Because that's what the you are. You demonic ass demon. That man has an entity in his body. That man is not happy. That man is evil. That man is cursed. 
a lot of India young boys younger fans are super duper bad on Twitter they are just so upset that he's being called out about this and I just really don't understand how young are y'all are y'all four because what age do common sense kick in I don't know I don't remember being that dumb when I was 12 and 13 or 14 what is wrong with y'all for real how could that possibly be okay I just want y'all to be so for real somebody beating up their baby mama in front of the kid while the kid in the hand and it's a baby this is a little baby like be for real Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know how you feel about this situation because I definitely want to hear from you guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.